Hello everyone, this is Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko. We do a lot of videos on this channel. Some about bugs, some about setups. Today we're going to focus on the geckos. This video is going to be all about Coleonyx variegatus, which is one of the more underrated geckos. Coleonyx variegatus belongs to a group called the banded geckos. If you've ever had banded geckos, or if you have any questions about the banded geckos, leave a comment below. So stay tuned and let's check them out. Let's go ahead and open the enclosure. I'm going to move this to an area where we can view it better, and I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and take a look at Coleonyx variegatus. I really think these are a cool, cool gecko. Why? Because they're very similar to leopard geckos in their care, in their behavior, and we're just now seeing some variations in these animals coming out. The genus Coleonyx is a Western Hemisphere gecko. It's made up of several different species, and I'll list some of the species here in the video. Coleonyx variegatus is actually made up of several subspecies as well. Here's a list of the subspecies. The animal we'll be looking at today is Coleonyx variegatus variegatus, and let's talk about the setup first. You can actually keep these animals in a 10-gallon tank. They're very comfortable in that size. This is a 15-quart, and I have it set up for breeding purposes. You can see it's a shallow enclosure. It looks like one of the variegatus is digging itself out right now. We'll go ahead and watch that and talk about their setup. So I have a couple of hides in here. I have about a half inch to an inch of sand. And this is a real fine quartz-like sand. I have several different styrofoam rocks that I put together for an earlier enclosure. I have a water dish, a food dish, I mentioned the two hides, and I have a cork bark as well. It's a very, very simple setup. Under each of the hides, I've moistened the sand to give them an area to lay their eggs. As a note, some of the coleonic species prefer a more moist enclosure. The variegatus like a sandy, arid enclosure. This animal is nicknamed the Western Banded Gecko, and it's found in the southwest U.S., in North Mexico, and also in the Mojave Desert. They're actually found in rocky areas, sparse vegetation, to almost no vegetation. It's of course a terrestrial gecko, and they are nocturnal. I keep this enclosure, and I'm going to go ahead and start moving some of the uh, decorations here. Here we see one of them already out, and we'll get a close-up of this animal in just a moment. I keep this enclosure around 80 degrees ambient temperature, and they're moist hide, probably about 20%, 25% of this enclosure is kept in the low 90s. We moved him out and now he's looking for another place to hide. Let's take a look at this one right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the other one as well. Very, very simple animal. To maintain. Let's move out this hide. And let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit of a close-up on these animals. Here we're seeing the female. The males and female are distinguishable about because you can see the spurs near the uh, end of the tail, at the beginning of the tail on the males. Let's see if we can get that male into the picture here. And hopefully you can see those spurs on the male. I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, food and we'll see if we can get a feeding response. I like to feed small to medium mealworms. Well, that was quick. I also like to feed uh, small dubias, small crickets, not pinheads, but about a quarter of an inch size. And what these animals will do is when they're ready to breed, 
They'll dig into the substrate and they'll lay their eggs in the moister area. We incubate the eggs just like we do uh, leopard gecko eggs. And basically their care is just like leopard geckos. Let me throw in one more mealworm here. So as you can see, a very, very basic setup, very, very easy to care for. And just a fun little gecko. Thank you, gecko fans, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe and the notification if you haven't already. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.